Our exploration begins with a look at some of Hollywood's legendary stars who struggled with alcohol addiction hidden from the public eye. We'll uncover their stories and reveal the challenges they faced, leading to their untimely demise. This script sheds light on the vices and hardships of these classic stars, taking you on a journey from their early success to their tragic end. Dana Plato, an actress who rose to fame as a child star, is best known for her role as Kimberly Drummond on the popular 80s TV show Different Strokes. However, her journey to adulthood was marked by personal challenges and struggles. Plato's career began at a young age, and she found it difficult to transition from being a child star to an adult actress. She began to experiment with alcohol and substance abuse, which negatively impacted her career and personal life. Despite her talent and potential, Plato's battles with addiction made it difficult for her to find consistent work in the entertainment industry. She appeared in a few minor roles in films and TV shows, but nothing compared to the success she had experienced as a child star. Tragically, Plato's life ended at the young age of 34 due to a drug overdose. Alcohol played a significant role in her struggles, and it ultimately contributed to her untimely death. Plato's story is a sad reminder of the challenges that many child stars face as they grow up and try to navigate the adult world. Her struggles with addiction and the impact it had on her career and personal life serve as a cautionary tale for those in the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges she faced, Plato will always be remembered for her iconic role on different strokes and the impact she had on the lives of her fans. Her story is a reminder of the importance of providing support and resources to help young stars navigate the challenges they face as they transition to adulthood. Dorothy Dandridge was a trailblazing African-American actress who faced significant challenges due to racial discrimination throughout her life and career. She was born on November 9, 1922 in Cleveland, Ohio, and showed early promise as a performer, singing and dancing alongside her sister Vivian in their family's vaudeville act. Despite her talents, Dandridge encountered numerous obstacles in the entertainment industry, which was heavily segregated at the time. She was often relegated to playing stereotypical roles or supporting parts, and was rarely given the opportunity to showcase her full range as an actress. Despite these challenges, Dandridge persevered, and in 1954, she became the first African-American actress to receive a Best Actress nomination at the Academy Awards for her role in the film Carmen Jones. Although she ultimately did not win the award, her nomination was a significant milestone in the fight for greater representation and equality in Hollywood. However, Dandridge's personal life was fraught with difficulties. She struggled with alcohol issues and faced numerous challenges in her romantic relationships. Her relationships with both directors and white men in particular often led to public scrutiny and backlash, adding to her personal struggles. Tragically, Dandridge's life was cut short when she died on September 8, 1965, at the age of 42. Her death was ruled an accidental overdose, with alcohol being a contributing factor in her downward spiral. Dandridge's legacy is one of perseverance and determination in the face of adversity. She paved the way for future generations of African-American actresses, and her powerful performances continue to resonate and inspire audiences today. In summary, Dorothy Dandridge was a pioneering African-American actress who faced racial discrimination and personal demons throughout her life. Despite these challenges, she achieved significant milestones in her career and left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her life, filled with highs and lows, ended too soon due to an accidental overdose, but her legacy lives on as a trailblazer and an inspiration to all. Montgomery Clift was an American actor known for his powerful and intense performances on the big screen. Born in 1920, Clift began his acting career on stage before transitioning to film in the 1940s. He quickly gained a reputation for his method acting style, where he would deeply immerse himself in his characters, often to the point of exhaustion. Despite his success in Hollywood, Cliff struggled with personal demons behind the scenes. He battled alcohol and substance abuse, which took a toll on his health and personal relationships. His struggles were largely hidden from the public as he maintained a carefully crafted image as a leading man. As Cliff's addiction worsened, it began to impact his career. He became increasingly unreliable, missing shoots, and struggling to remember his lines. Despite these challenges, he continued to act, delivering memorable performances in films like From Here to Eternity and A Place in the Sun. Tragically, Cliff's life was cut short at the age of 45. Alcohol played a significant role in his overall decline in later years, contributing to a car accident in 1956 that left him with serious injuries. 
He never fully recovered and died in 1966 due to complications related to his addiction. Montgomery Cliff's legacy lies on through his powerful and emotional performances. His impact on the world of acting is still felt today as he paved the way for future method actors to push the boundaries of their craft. However, his story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of addiction and the importance of seeking help when needed. Billie Holiday, born Eleanor Fagan in Baltimore, Maryland in 1915, is considered one of the greatest jazz singers of all time. Her unique vocal style, characterized by her emotional depth and melancholy tone, set her apart from her contemporaries and made her a true icon in the world of jazz. Holiday's childhood was marked by poverty and hardship. She was raised primarily by her grandmother, and her mother worked as a maid to support the family. As a teenager, Holiday dropped out of school and worked as a cleaner in a brothel. It was during this time that she first began singing professionally, performing in local clubs and bars. In the early 1930s, Holiday moved to New York City, where she began performing in some of the city's most famous jazz clubs. It wasn't long before she caught the attention of jazz legend John Hammond, who helped her secure a recording contract with Columbia Records. Her first recordings, released in 1933, were an instant success, and Holiday quickly became one of the most popular and influential jazz singers of her time. Despite her growing fame, Holiday struggled with personal demons throughout her career. She became addicted to heroin and alcohol, which took a toll on her health and her relationships. She was also involved in a number of abusive relationships, which further contributed to her emotional turmoil. Despite these challenges, Holiday continued to record and perform throughout the 1930s and 1940s. She released a string of critically acclaimed albums and became known for her powerful and emotive live performances. However, her substance abuse issues continued to take a toll on her health, and she was often forced to cancel shows due to exhaustion or illness. In the late 1940s, Holiday was arrested and convicted of drug possession, which resulted in a brief prison sentence. Upon her release, she continued to perform and record, but her health had begun to decline rapidly. She died in 1959 at the age of 44 due to health issues exacerbated by her long-term substance abuse. Today, Billie Holiday is remembered as one of the most influential and beloved jazz singers of all time. Her music, characterized by its emotional depth and raw honesty. Jean Seberg was an American actress, born in 1938 in Iowa. She gained recognition in the French New Wave film Breathless in 1960, which brought her international fame. However, Seberg's life was marked by personal struggles with mental health issues and alcoholism. Seberg's professional success did not translate to her personal life. She faced challenges in her relationships and was vulnerable to negative media attention. She had a high-profile marriage to French novelist and director Romain Gary, which ended in divorce in 1970. Seberg's mental health struggles and alcoholism intensified during this period. Tragically, Seberg's life ended at the age of 40, with her death being officially ruled as self-inflicted. Substance abuse was recognized as a contributing factor to her untimely demise. Her passing was a loss for the film industry, as she had a unique talent and potential to offer. In conclusion, Jean Seberg was an American actress who achieved international fame with her role in Breathless. However, her life was marked by personal struggles with mental health issues and alcoholism, which ultimately led to her tragic demise at the age of 40. John Garfield, born Jacob Julius Garfinkel in New York City, faced significant challenges during the McCarthy era due to accusations of leftist affiliations. This political scrutiny took a toll on his career and personal life. Garfield's acting career began in the 1930s when he joined the group theater a prominent theater company in New York known for its left-leaning political views. His talent and raw emotion quickly gained him recognition, leading to his film debut in 1938. As his career progressed, Garfield became a prominent figure in Hollywood, known for his intense and naturalistic acting style. However, the political climate of the 1950s brought about the McCarthy era, a time of intense anti-communist suspicion. Due to his past affiliations with the group theater, Garfield found himself under investigation by the House Un-American Activities Committee. The stress from this political scrutiny, along with the pressure to name names and clear his own, led Garfield to turn to alcohol as a coping mechanism. This misuse of alcohol contributed to his declining health, both physically and mentally. Despite his efforts to maintain his career and clear his name, the accumulated stress and strain took a heavy toll on Garfield. Sadly, on May 21, 1952, at the age of 39, John Garfield passed away from a heart attack. 
which many speculated was brought on by the years of stress and alcohol misuse. Garfield's legacy as an actor lives on, and his story serves as a reminder of the damaging effects that political persecution and scrutiny can have on individuals and their careers.